we just put another reef in. Oh my God. We're soaked. Soaked. We just had a huge wave come right through. This just has to be the biggest seas I think we've been in yet. Always, always, always close your hatches before you leave your boat. here in uh, Fort de France and it was great but uh, we have a weather window and we decided about four o'clock this morning we both woke up we were weren't a hundred percent sure but we decided it's time to go so we wrapped everything up had a quick bowl of cereal and it's 5 a.m. and we are out of here so we know it's gonna be rough today there's uh, it was as, at least as rough it was on the day we got here and uh, but it gets worse, so we're like, you know what, let's just get it over with, so. Rip the band-aid off, let's do this. Motor and still, there's not a lot of wind, but I know as soon as we get around that corner, we're flying all the way down to St. Lucia. Yeah. Well, so far so good. We're uh, averaging about five and a half knots heading to St. Lucia. We could just start to see the island in the distance and through the cloud cover. Um, it's kind of nice we're getting a little bit of uh, cloud cover ourselves right now to cool us down. But it's still early in the morning at seven o'clock, 7.30. And uh, yeah, we're making really good time. We, uh, we're both on edge a little bit. We had a situation on the way to Martinique where uh, we were we were riffing and see similar to this uh, the wind gusts changed as we came closer to the island and it uh, rounded us out so what is rounding up rounding up is when you're sailing along your sailboat gets overpowered it heels over the rudder comes out of the water and you turn up wind instantly it can be dangerous if you're sailing with other people because you will turn right into them and you have no control. There's different methods and techniques to try and regain control. Some of it is to turn down wind quickly and come back up. That sometimes can get some grip on your rudder. Another, another way is to let the main out, depower it so you can get the heel down and then get the rudder back in the water and grab some. But it happens really quickly and it, it's frightening. So try and spill the wind off the top of the sail. So your wind speed at the top, which is called wind, uh, wind shear, is much greater than it is on uh, the lower part of your sail. So if you can look at getting some twist in the top of your sail, two methods for doing the, getting the twist in your sail is one, let your boom vang out. That'll pull up on your boom, which will increase the twist in the sail. The other is to move your traveler across to the windward side and then let out your main from this side. Uh, the further you are over, the more twist you're gonna get going up. So there's two methods that we use and uh, seem to be pretty effective. Leave a comment if you have uh, any other options that we have that we could use to implement to prevent these in the future. We've had two now in this boat and both times was frightening. Probably the best one though was uh, I was walking up the stairs with two cups of miso soup and Tamara was at the helm and instantly the boat hit a 90. Didn't spill the soup, but it sure scared the pants off us. Uh, almost almost stopped us dead in our tracks and it, it's uh, humbling you know and you kind of get complacent so we're both feeling these gusts that are coming in off the lee side of the island here and it just makes us a little bit nervous but we're reefed pretty good the wind gusts are supposed to be around 26 i think today uh consistent wind between 17 and 18 i think but we don't know. We don't have any wind instruments yet. This is all based on what we can see online. So 
What do you think, baby? Uh, it's good. Definitely the nerves are on edge right now, but um, it's subsiding slowly, so that's good. We should be in St. Lucia just after lunchtime today, which is great. It's a short trip. The sea state's big. It's just, I think that's just what we have to deal with from now on. It's swelly, like four or five foot waves with a four or five foot second, uh, second interval. So it's, uh, it's bumpy. But when we're on a lean like this and sailing into it, it actually smooths it out quite a bit. So it's an advantage we have. Keep on rocking me, baby. I'm glad we put the windshield up today. just put another reef in oh my god we're soaked soaked we just had a huge wave come right through yeah. soaked the whole boat on the inside Thank god this is close. yeah yeah the waves were big but we were just we were getting up over seven knots and then it just one just smacked right into the side of the hull and poof it went straight through so that's fun. That fun so we, we've <laughs> slowed things down we're doing four and a half five now i think this is such a short duration in these wave sets though it's it's just there's no way to get good speed and uh, good, angle. good angle and still stay dry. It's impossible. So, yeah, I'm watching this other boat come up behind us too, and he's doing the same thing. We had to let the, the head sail out and furl it in a bunch and then just get back on track. So, this is a little more comfortable. But you can see how short these wave sets are. They're just coming in fast and hard. Uncomfortable. I can't 
believe how much more comfortable we are. We're just, I know. we got a half broken cabin steering <laughs> and huge seas, fully reefed, and we're just trucking along. Not even five, looking at the waves. Five, six knots. Yeah. Uh, you can hear him crunching away. Yeah, he but. needs an overhaul, obviously. But yeah. I am seriously proud of us and where we've gotten to in this journey because I would tell you, even a month ago, this would have not been on the list of things to do. 100%. No, we, a month ago, we would have been terrified at this point right now mm -hmm. for the day. But we're just hanging out. We're not chilling downstairs or anything like that or yeah. whatever, but you know, you're still vigilant. You're still watching what's going on, but yeah. it's nowhere near to the extreme extent saucy fun sail day today. A little bit of everything today. It was great. We just used a little bit of fuel this morning just to turn and get out of the uh, bay we were in and then sails were up and it was great. We had a full sail day today which was fantastic. It was rough and fun. It's 40 and we got to get these things down because we are rolling into Rodney Bay. Check it out. Hi, I got your anchor drink. You got the dinghy down. Did you hurt yourself? Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. Love you. <laughs> it's burgers <laughs> and pitons. Yes, this is their local beer here, the pitons. I'm gonna climb your pitons. Baby, you can't say that. Look at these things. Are you in burger heaven oh right now? Oh my god, this is insane. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest burger ever. I'll get it in there. That's the happiest <laughs> boy ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Love this place. Oh, oh. It's so good. Beautiful. Sun is just about to set and the sky is just brilliant with colors right now. Would you hold me if I told you we can just run away? So come, my darling, let me help you. We can follow the sun and leave the rain for somebody else. Help ourselves Leave our troubles Upon the shelf And don't you worry We're gonna find All we need in our sunset paradise mm -hmm. When you had a crazy splashy day like we did yesterday you gotta clean the cockpit. It is so salty and sticky and gross in here. So we've gotta try and get rid of this situation and get all of the salt off of our stainless because it is making a horrible mess. So today's cockpit cleaning day. Step one is getting all the dried salt off of the cockpit cushions so we can get them out of here and then start mucking this place out. So we've got all the cushions off and vacuumed now. I'm gonna go around with the vacuum real quick to pick up any of my hair because that gets everywhere. I don't know how I have any left on my head, but behind the cushions and underneath of them, it collects so bad. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up and it's time to start scrubbing. Quick hour and 
and the boat is clean again and it actually feels nice to be on it again. Oh, it was so bad. It was bad. But uh, we got all the glass done, all the stainless, the cockpit, and the, uh, the top deck of the boat is completely cleaned. Panels. All of it. It's good. Yay, we have a clean Hanu again. There's a little carnival thing happening here today. So we are wandering around trying to find it all, but there's other stuff going on. We're gonna wander around, check stuff out, come back, get the parade, and then check out what else is happening. Very Let's cool. Do this. this is so fun. We've just stopped and chatted with all kinds of different people, and they're all everybody's setting up a little roadside snack bar and you can get drinks and barbecue and yeah it's super cool so um and everyone's in such a good mood you can see it's just a good vibe the party is happening it's so happening This is the first time we've decided to leave our hatches open on the boat because it was so warm and we haven't had rain in forever. And as you know, we washed the boat today because we haven't had rain in forever and it is pouring. <laughs> and our poor boat is gonna be so freaking soaked now. <laughs> ah, Murphy's freaking law, I tell you. Baby, our bed is gonna be totally freaking soaked. Do you feel about sleeping in a wet bed tonight? It's wet every night. It's, wet <laughs> it's every gonna night. be wetter. Oh my god, it's jumping. Hello, screw up. We're walking back to the dinghy. The rain finally stopped. It's been a torrential downpour for the last 20 minutes. Boy, did we screw up. <laughs> our boat's wide open, everything's gonna be soaked. But, but you know what? A wicked day today. Oh, uh, we carnivaled. Like, <laughs> our GoPro's dead, so we're filming with our phone now. <laughs> so if I'm looking here and I mean to talk to you there, I'm sorry. <laughs> it always confuses me. Which direction? Where do you look? We're going, <laughs> we're going this way. <laughs> and this is awesome, but crazy neighborhoods, crazy dogs and goats and stuff, and this is epic. Amazing. Having the best day. <laughs> Are we decorating for Halloween? Yep. Or getting caught with our pants down? <laughs> First time in a year. Uh, We're vigilant with putting our hatches down when we leave and... Now everything is soaking wet. And we're drying it. Ish. In the middle of the night. Yeah, it's gonna be dry tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be fantastic. All yep. of our carpets are wet. All of our hatches, companionway, our whole bed, everything is soaked. So, lesson learned, always, always, always close your hatches before you leave your boat. Yep. Hi Patreon community, you guys are the best and we love you so much. And we just wanted to take a quick minute to let you know that you are the ones that keep all of this amazingness happening. Thank you. We love you.